okay so welcome to my video my name is boogie as you all know um if you're new to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you think <clears throat> my channel is pretty much a blog about me myself my thoughts my opinions things i want to share anything about me really so today i want to title this video in particular money will not cure unhappiness money will make you happy for a fleeting moment but money does not cure overall unhappiness and what do i mean by this like most people think like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get this job i'm gonna get this thing like this amount of money then i'll be happy then i'll start thriving then i'll start feeling better about myself but it's the opposite <clears throat> because using myself as an example i study computer science funny enough <laughs> this is my degree right here computer science you see that but I studied computer science, and when I graduated, I graduated in 2021, and I got this really nice tech job in software development, and I was a software developer. I was making the most money I've ever made in my entire life, bi-weekly, right? Every two weeks, I get paid, and I get paid this amount of money, and it's a lot of money. And um, making this money for the first time in my life, I'm 21 years old. <clears throat> But guess what? I wasn't happy. In fact, that was one of the saddest moments of my life. That was one of my my downest moments like in my entire life where I wasn't happy at all. Because moments like that are there to teach you something, right? I had reached where I thought was the peak of my life, graduated university, gotten the dream job, or oh, everybody wants to get to this position that I'm in right now. And it wasn't fulfilling me because what? I didn't know who I wanted to be. I just thought that, okay, I needed to do this, do this, and do that. Then I'm where I'm supposed to be. But getting where you think you're supposed to be will not make you happy. Getting where you think you're supposed to be will not make you happy. But getting where you want to be, which is, the funny thing is, it's not related to the amount of money you make. It's, it's more about the purpose you're serving. Because right now, one of the most interesting highlights of my day is growing my channel and making my channel bigger and better and building my personal brand. And in the past few weeks i've gotten over maybe 30 subscribers and just being consistent on my channel and posting every other day i'll be able to get over 30 subscribers maybe like 10 comments good comments bad comments but those things are the things that have made me happy and i'm not earning i'm not earning anything from youtube right now but the fact that i i am doing this and the the dream in my head of where i want it to get to and who I want to become when it gets there that's the that's the purpose of my life right building my personal brand uh, talking about things I want to talk about sharing my opinions and thoughts that makes me happy then the money can come later and even if it's large checks enough checks the money can come from all different angles it doesn't have to be the way I think it's supposed to be but th the purpose of this is to let you know that Discovering who you actually want to be is what is going to make you happy. It's not the money at the end of the day. And the way to actually gain that happiness right now is by being grateful for where you are. Because you might be going through a lot of things. You might be going through a lot of things. You might not have a job. You might not have money. You might not eat at the fanciest restaurants. But when you're grateful for the things you have, like being able to wake up, and eat and survive another day that's all you have to be grateful for to actually be happy but me just saying it will not let you understand it it's more about the experience because you can look outside your car you can look outside your house and look on the internet as well look outside of yourself and you're looking outside of yourself and you're looking at other people in their big houses and their big nice brand new cars <clears throat> and you're wondering oh they must be happy um, my life is my life is shit my life is, but from that place 
you cannot even think about what will get you there or what will make you happy because you're just being ungrateful. But let me let you know, a house is still a house. Yes, it's more expensive. Yes, it's more. But you have a house. You have somewhere to put your head. But imagine if you're in that big ass house, but you never even have the time of day to even be happy in that house. All you do is stress about your finances, work in and now running up and down the world just to pay for that house that is so big and nice and fancy, but you're not happy living in it. You're not happy with the responsibility that comes with it. Just imagine that. So from your place of not having that house, you're looking at it, oh, it must be nice. But when you take in the responsibility, the problems, the hate, all the negative things that come with the house, you might not even want to be in that house at the end of the day. You might want to get your own house in your own way that is more fulfilling for you. So gratitude is the answer to most of these thoughts that you might have about where you are currently. And if you're not grateful, you will never be able to see happiness. Because even when you get that money you're dreaming about, when you get that dream job you're chasing, when you get that lifestyle that you've always wanted, you might not be happy. You might have power to do the things you want, buy food, buy clothes, but it might just not fill that void if you never learn to be grateful. Hope I was able to shed some light on some things that could even, you know, Make you think better about yourself and your situation. So I'll just leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. Your thoughts are very important. What you're thinking about. How you think about your situation. When you're able to shift the perspective that you have about your life. To a, to a point of gratitude and love and appreciation of where you currently are. Then you can be, be more creative to see where you want to get to. But if you're not thinking from a place of gratitude and you're thinking from a place of hate, oh, I don't like my life. My life is horrible because you're comparing it to something else instead of looking forward to where you want to be or expecting what you want. Okay, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to get some more money so I can get a better bed, get a better apartment, get a better car get a better this but if you're looking oh i hate my car i hate my house i hate my bed i hate my shoes and you're just focusing on that side of things you're never going to be happy but the moment you realize oh i have a bed but i would like a better bed so what would i like to do to get a better bed who would i like to be but if you operate from i hate my bed i don't like my bed so i have to <clears throat> i have to start working this job i don't like so i can change my bed then you're just going to hate the job as well because you feel like I have to. I have to do this to get what I want instead of operating from, okay, I like my I like my bed currently, but I want a better bed. So who do I have to become to have a better bed? Not just what job do I have to get in. I need, I need a better bed now, so I need to get this and I need to work all these hours so I can get that bed right now. No, it's more about thinking about who do I want to, do I want to become so that I can always have a better bed? But that's, I hope that doesn't go over your head. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'm just trying to build my audience and share my thoughts and opinions in life and things that have made my life better and given me a, more of a pleasant experience in my life. And I hope those can help you too.